Alright, good afternoon. Freddy T3 here, presenting another uh, recipe that I hope you'll enjoy. One of my favorites, uh, as simple as it is, it's kind of intimidating, and many, many cooks run from it. Again, I do a lot of uh, southern or soul food cooking, so this is a staple for me. My mother taught me this recipe. Oh, and so we're going to do uh, some hot water cornbread, because I've got a little uh, dinner here for my grandson that I've prepared. And you're going to have some fried chicken I made. He's got some red beans and rice and some coleslaw uh, that is uh, in the refrigerator. And so we're going with some very, very simple, good old-fashioned, southern hot water cornbread. All right, you can hear the uh, hot water boiling, so we're ready to get going. Again, hot water cornbread is real easy. You just need cornmeal, some very hot water. You need a hot skillet and you need some salt. And the trick is the consistency and how you mix it. So we're going to show you that here in just a second. All right, I'm taking my hot water in and I'm going to pour it in until it fills up my batter and just about that, you got to eyeball it because again it expands. So I'm going to place my hot water back to my burner because I'll be needing it later and you just give it a couple of good stirs and it's going to thicken up. Stir out the lumps. You can either stir or whisk. I like to use a um, slotted spoon like this, or I like to use a slotted spoon or this kind of spoon. All right, while my skillet is um, heating up, I've got my texture just about where I want it. And again, it's, it's like plaster, so it's firm, but it still gives you some nimble, nimbleness. And that's kind of what you're looking for because you got to be able to form it into a patty for your hot water cornbread um, serving size. So as soon as this gets nice and piping hot, we'll be dumping in the uh, mixture and then we'll be done and eating here in just a second. Then all you do is just drop them right in. Just get a little scoop. Get a good, depending on how big you want your... Uh, cornbread. Just drop it right in. You can hear it hit that hot grease. So you know you're on the right path when that happens. If you don't hear that, turn your stove off and start all over again because you're going to need this thing to be hot. I do about six of them. My grandson probably will knock out two with his red beans and rice. And they'll be golden brown. By the way, I use yellow cornmeal, but you can use white cornmeal, whatever your preference is. This is what I had. And I used a little bit of vegetable oil. This pot, I think you've, you've heard some of my other uh, demonstrations, it's got to be about 75 years old. It's one of my grandmother's pots when she passed away in Louisiana that we brought back. And I just love to use these because it gives you that good... Uh, cooking utensil, especially if you enjoy cooking southern style foods or soul food. All right, these are just about ready to be turned. You can tell by the uh, golden brown look right along the, the perimeter of the bread. So let's just flip them over. See how it looks? Nice and golden. Flip them over. And it's got a nice hard or a firm crust on the bottom. Stuff. All right, so that's, that's, that's really all there is to it. You need some boiling water, cornmeal, salt. You need a good skillet that gets a lot of heat. That, that oil has got to be piping hot uh, because that's what firms the uh, helps firm the mold once you dip that batter into the oil. And these are ready. So we'll put one, two. And this is what you have. This is your hot water cornbread. Simple as could be, it's the technique that intimidates most people from trying this uh, delicious soul food or southern recipe. So we're going to have this with some red beans and rice, that fried chicken that I knocked out earlier, a little coleslaw, and that will stick to my grandson's ribs, and he'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Like if you like the video. Of course, if you dislike, dislike. Any comments would be appreciated. That's what helps the uh, 
community stay alive and, and offer our suggestions as just amateur cooks willing to share what we do. Thank you so much and have a happy new year.